trying to dance between both sides. That little snippet I seen. Again, I didn't see the whole snippet, so maybe the person was trying to make it seem like that. Again, I right. didn't see the whole thing, right? But in all honesty, it's like, all right, after you said all that, now you can't come, you can't turn on and be like, you want to deal with Netflix. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because they're going to have to pop in the tape, show you what you did last night. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So are you going to be ready for that next level and that upper echelon pop in the tape moment? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. So yeah. you, you said what you had to say, cool. So don't complain a year from now when you're not getting... Yo, just do, and you're not getting your cut, and you're not getting your bread. Mm -hmm. Yeah, facts. So ho hopefully, your house is in order. You got there was one snippet where she was talking about she got bread from Kevin Hart, and and you paid him back, or you know what I'm saying? All right, cool. I hope that 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 money you you was able to get to pay him back and sustain you with the rest of the money. I hope yeah. that holds you down because it seems like from moving forward, you're not gonna get no roles unless yeah. you create your own lane. Yeah, so yeah. If none of y'all talking about that talk. I don't want to hear it. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That's a fact. I don't want to hear it. Like, create your own media production company. Like, Monique, you've been in the industry for 30 years now. Like, you know what I'm saying? You know how this shit goes. Mm -hmm. See, I think because now you're going to a different conversation for Monique where it's you've been in the industry, you're accomplished, you've done and received awards that many actors can't say that they have they many actors can't say that they they're top tier acting and really good as a comedic actor as well top tier comedic actor has mm -hmm. stand up has done some dope stand up so you're talking about just the career path you know what i'm saying that what we feel that she should be on and it kind of gives me a little bit of Kanye where it's like at one point Kanye was looking for Ralph Lauren to validate his career instead of doing what he's doing now is not start your own stuff, being your own things and so on and so forth. Right. Um, but watching the interview, I watched the interview and I think she set out to accomplish her goal and her goal. And I, and I had to watch it all the way to it, the end because, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a very, what it like does the ends justify as the means kind of guy right mm -hmm. like what's the end game and her end game for real really is money that's the end game and what i mean by that is this her end game she wants the apology of course you know but at the end of the day she wants to be able to get back out here and get to this bag right the bag that she's comfortable making the bet she's not comfortable doing things on her own and coming up with this and that. No, she feels like she's worked her way up as she, as she has, she's worked her way up to be top tier actress and, and so on and so forth. So with that comes on this, right? But because the world don't view her that way at that particular time, she didn't get the, the top actress package that she thought that she should get that she, justifiably earned based on her credentials and her awards right so coming to realize that her you know you know really going at oprah and 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 uh um Tyler perry and lee daniels the end game is money she's she says she has receipts that shannon sharp read that um that validates and vindicates her points so because she was deemed difficult, it cost her millions of dollars. So by her clearing her name, it's supposed to help get back those millions of dollars, whether it's new jobs and just money that it cost them because reputation is everything in Hollywood. So because, you know, you cost me my reputation, you're supposed to put some ends on that. Because you was wrong. Not only we owed an apology, but we want the financial apology too. So th when I realized that's the end game, then I understand her point more. Because before, I was furthest away from what, what, you know, what, where I'm at right now 
with that. And I and she needed to do this interview and say the things that she has said for me to get a full understanding of what the end game was. So I think it accomplished this goal, me personally. Well, my thing is, if it's Lee Daniels, Tyler Perry, and Oprah Winfrey are the gatekeepers, and you doing this interview, you not going to get the bread. You know what I'm saying? Like, Facts. They're not going to give you the apology. You got a recording of people talking uh, 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 without their consent. Even if you have the receipt, you didn't get it properly. Uh, you know what I'm saying? What's the point? Mm -hmm. So you're not, you, they not going to cut you the check that you want. So mm -hmm. my thing is, like, you have, uh, I would believe that since you've been in the industry for so long, you should have the knowledge on how to start your own project. Mm -hmm. Just go and do that. 